Transpop 3 story is, uh, is brand new because uh, in this film Frank is supposed to be retired and uh, he doesn't know anything about this new mission and uh, he, will complete, uh, he will complete this mission without knowing uh, anything about it. The only thing he knows is that he be, has been tra trapped uh, around his car because he's got uh, a bracelet uh, that uh, um, obliges him to stay close from the car, otherwise he's going to explode. In Transport 3, the new concept of uh, the story is about uh, taking Frank Martin, who is the hero of the film, uh, from uh, his retirement and ask him to uh, complete a mission through Europe. So it's a kind of road movie through Europe uh, with the new uh, modality was uh, not to leave the car, otherwise it's going to be in real danger. The other thing is that uh, there is a, really a villain, a real, real villain like a uh, great action movie, uh, other action movies, uh, played by Robert Knepper, who really uh, caused a new duality between Frank Martin with the hero and him. That is the new, the real new concept. In the two first ones, the scenes were very really short. The action scenes were very really short. In this one, they are really big. They are really, uh, uh, they are uh, intense. They are going higher and higher. So everything has been thought bigger. Everything has has been thought. Uh, higher, everything has been so more uh, powerful and so on. So that was for me uh, uh, a really, really a challenge to, uh, to complete this. Director Jason Statham was very, uh, uh, very funny because he's very complete. The guy uh, is so physical like he, and he wants to do everything, all his, uh, uh, every stance and so on, that uh, you really, uh, you're really cool when you see these guys training every day and so on. Very, very, very hard to uh, to be on the top and to be uh, very sharp with his body. You know, when you see the, the shape of his body in the film is so incredible. I, uh, I hope I could do one day, one day with the same thing, <laughs> eating uh, nothing for a year. His career is getting like being uh, is. He's leading to be a, a kind of Bruce Willis because his face, because his charisma, and so on. So um, at the first time I I film him, even uh, during the readings, I saw the difference between before and I say, this guy is going to be a huge star nowadays. So I'm really lucky to uh, to be with him and to to work with him, and uh, that was very yeah delightful. Each time there is a stunting, he was there, you know. He was there and wanted absolutely to do it, you know. Absolutely. He said, I want to do it. I can do it. And uh, that, is, uh, that is great because each time you have to, you know, especially in an action film, you know, it's, uh, uh, the tricky thing is to, uh, to try to make fit the, the, stunt, the stunt guys and, the, and the, like doubles and so on with the, with the actor. And with Jason there is no way because he's doing everything. He's an angel. Uh, Robert, uh, working with Robert, uh, uh, I was so proud of it, you know, because uh, he he has such um, an experience and is so close to uh, really the method and, and the way of uh, of directing uh, I, I like, that it was like uh, uh, driving a Ferrari or something like this, you know. You see him at the first time, and as the first time, we had the same, exactly the same idea about the, about the character, because it was a brand new character. So that was the two really interesting things of this film. Working with, uh, with Jason, who uh, tried to make uh, a new thing with his character, and making with a brand new one, with uh, Robert, and trying to uh, to build really a strong and a villain like uh, a dark side guy with that never had been sold before in in this in this in his uh, trilogy